Yesterday, our new Senator Darren Hinch made a wide-ranging 45-minute maiden speech that was truly something else, whether it was speaking about himself wistfully in third person. A year ago, we just formed a political party. Hinch, a politician, give me a break. Casting medieval curses on the parliament. A pox on both your houses. And also, just seven minutes in, naming and shaming several convicted pedophiles whose names have been suppressed by the court. If it is necessary to protect a child's well-being, then damn right, I'll name the human vermin like a Canberra degenerate. Okay, we're not going to play that bit of his speech. It actually caused a bit of a tiz. Look, this is an abuse of parliamentary privilege. When they use privilege to override court orders uh, that have been made by the courts, that potentially uh, inflicts further pain and damage on the victims of some terrible crimes. Yes, in case you didn't already know, police can say whatever they want in parliament, that is. The right to speak freely in Parliament without fear of being impeached or questioned in court was actually set down in our Constitution and after a big review, we made it law in 1987. And it doesn't just protect a poly from getting sued. It also means that anyone speaking in Parliament or giving evidence to Parliament can say something that would otherwise land them in jail. So why do we have this law? It's very necessary. Um... You know, when Parliament is in, uh, looking at whether or not there are serious problems in the community to investigate, parliamentarians need to be able to talk freely. Parliamentary privilege has also brought us some of the great zingers of recent political history, such as Jackie Lambie saying Cory Bernardi is... Like an angry prostitute lecturing us about the benefits of celibacy. But it's also been used for some pretty dodgy reasons before. Like when Nick Xenophon outed a priest as a rapist in 2011 and the priest was later cleared of all wrongdoing. As a man who's been burned by Pali privilege before, Xenophon had these tired words of wisdom for Hinch earlier this year. Parliamentary privilege is something you, you must use very carefully. But look, to be fair, we did have some warning. Hinch might do this. He was put under five months of house arrest in 2011 for outing pedophiles on the radio. And also, he told us that he would, on this program, in June. I think the suppression orders in this country are, are ludicrous and they don't protect the public. If I have I mean, to, just I will. And it's not like he did this on a whim. The man truly believes in the cause and he used his maiden speech to call for a national register of pedophiles, similar to the US. I say it's a travesty, it is a disgrace. It's incomprehensible to me that we do not have such a law in Australia. The public has a right to know Look, ultimately, naming and shaming pedophiles may do very little good, but the human headline is making headlines. Whether those headlines are for the public good or for the good of Darren Hinch remains to be seen.